Okie dokie, I am sort of scared of doing this one. I'm just going to be 100% honest. This is a uh, program overview of the Fricadia FSH editor. And yes, I know it is a Fricadian thing, big Fricadia sign, obvious. But the point behind this is we're not doing this as a more fricadia program. We're doing this as a photo editing program in general. Okay, so we're just trying to acknowledge it as that. So, quit thinking Fricadia. I mean, I'm trying to stay away from the Fricadia vids, even though a lot of my uh, vids are Fricadian, and yeah, there's a bunch of big menus popping up. If you're wondering the reason behind that, that's because we are going to fetch a photograph to modify. Yes, that says Zombie Chocobo, and yes, that's a Final Fantasy reference, and yes, that's what we're going to be doing. And yeah, there's a bunch of other zombies. I was planning on doing this uh, thing sort of inspired off of Dead Rising, but... You're just seeing a big gray screen here, I know. I'm trying to get back to it as soon as possible. Just give me a sec. Okay. Here we go. We are going to turn this into a live chocobo. That's just what I decided we'd do. Just rapidly, deci ra rapidly decided. Okie doke. And I'm just going to show you what it is. One of the bad things about this program, the little black line there. Um... Now basically what I'm saying with just making this vid in general is the Fricadia FSH editor does have individual quality as a photo editing program. So don't just think of it as for as a Fricadian thing. Now notice that that thing is actually the transparent layer of the image. Oh wait, that's not the transparent layer. This is the transparent layer. So we're going to get this back to transparent and I'm going to show you what transparent means. Then I'm going to just mess with some of the features and show you what it can do. Um, as I said, we're going to try to turn this to a live chocobo. But first, I will show you what an. Uh, just a sec. Okay, get that saved to an additional one. We're just going to do an army of chocobos to show you the whole transparent layer thing. Sometimes, just because I need a transparent layer, I go into the FSH editor which is kind of a ridiculous reason to do it because it does have some very very poor things involved with it a limited color selection but I mean it does have some pretty good things because it only uses for Kitty of colors but occasionally I do need to use this program now I'm going to show you some of the other really unique features of it and we're going to try to turn this into a live chocobo or a live livelier looking chocobos and a yellow one like normal chocobos so um here we see, uh, let's see, there's a bunch of really cool, really just neat programs, or really neat functions to mess around with, they aren't, all, they aren't always perfect, but, We're going to get this into a color set that will hopefully make it easier to turn it into a live chocobo. Because I'm just showing you this function in action as my objective. And yeah, I know that looks weird. It'll look more coherent in a second. And of course it has the normal color dropper. And now to actually turn this into a live one. This is going to be hard because it's got limited colors, but... All we do is hit one color, hit the other and hit control K and behold it's just taking shape this is one of the other things I really love about this program I mean if it had more colors I would probably use this more than I would use MS paint or yeah I mean slightly flawed I mean if we just took in way back to the old one I was just showing you that color swapper thing I mean this one's probably a lot better to do it off of so we're just gonna get our little objective completed here and then I'll probably just sign out there. Sorry, guys. I don't think you're very in many people are very interested in my vids yet. Anyways, I'm new, or I'm new to actually making videos. I have the favorites lists of the gods. I mean, it's ridiculous. And also for uh, those of you who actually have Fricadia, I am planning to do just FSH tutorial vids. Because I know a bunch of really just cheap shot shortcuts. And yeah, I know that sounds pathetic, but it's usable. But 
uh, what I'm saying is this is worthwhile as an individual program live chocobo of some nature uh oh this fits pretty short okay so I guess I'll just show you a little bit just yeah I mean it's got some uh oh oh I'm just gonna show you some more just really cool stuff this thing can do if you learn how to do it. Some of the stuff most normal for Cadian people do not know. We're gonna make us a picture. And by picture I mean the sort of picture that hangs on a wall. And it's going to be of this chocobo again. Yes, I do not want to go fetch more resources. Why? Because it probably annoyed you last time I did it and I do not want to do it again. So we're going to get just a little headshot of the chocobo. In fact, let's go just crop that. See, this is just a really easy to use. I mean, despite limited colors, I mean, I cannot stress that. It's just enough. It's just killing this program. It's a beautiful program otherwise. As I said, I'd probably use this more than I use uh, actual just paint. If I just... More colors. Okay, there's going to be a sort of drastic way to do it, but it works. And then you just peel away your chocobo. Now, uh, if you notice real quick, I'm going to show you actual Fricadia. Notice this is not straight up and down. This is isometric. Once again, this is Ferranda's barn grill. This is actually Ferranda, the glowing person. Um, now, as you notice, it's isometric, as in it's lying on its side. Oh, basically, here, I got a better illustration of it. If you take a look at, an act, look at actual Fricadia. Now, I'm telling you, I'm trying not to link this to Fricadia, but I'm just showing you why it's in the program. That's probably used that technique. They're probably going to be wondering what I'm doing sitting around pacing in weird directions, and I'll tell them I'm making a video. But, uh, I mean, this has got this really unique feature that I personally like, if you know how and when to use it, of making it into a portrait size thing. And by the way, so you know, these are the dials for adjusting it so it actually looks good in the actual game. That's what it would look like in the actual game if it were just sitting there, basically like that one we saw up there. Oops. Okay. But yeah, this is just some of the many features of this wonderful, wonderful program. I mean, it could do a lot if you just sit there and learn it. It's got some just really nice stuff. It's a very good image editing program. Remember, I'm not trying to link this to Fricadia. I'm trying to link this to it being a very good image editing program. Which it is. It's got all the basic features and plenty more. Well, uh... This is Vlad Shadow, I think. I'm Vlad Shadow, right? Well, I'm, uh, signing off, yeah.